another day. Boom! What's up? What's up? Um, I don't know what day it is, because to, to me, man, I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with Pat Mack, man. Every morning's Monday. Every night is Friday. Um, don't let anyone or anything ask more than you of you than you demand from yourself. Dream like you'll live forever, but fight like you will die tonight. Make this day count. We are dying together. It's beautiful. Make your life beautiful. You know, so you don't regret anything when your time comes, if you're honored with the opportunity to even see it coming, you know. Um, be with the people you love today. Be present with them. They won't last forever. You won't last forever. You'll find life in every breath when you understand the finite nature of it. I'll tell you one more thing. I read a quote, somehow it got in my brain box, but it didn't come from me. The, um, the meaning of life or the point of life is not to live forever, but to create something that will. And uh, if that doesn't get you excited, then you probably need to have a conversation with yourself that it consists of habits that will help you find help you invest more value into yourself. The quality of your life is going to be dictated by the quality of your habits. I'm not going to outperform guys because I'm cooler. I'm going to outperform guys because the quality of my habits. Executive protection is more than just a job. It's a lifestyle, but life, a successful life, meaningful life. Um, the life you want, you know, it's all about baseline. It's all about baseline, what's your baseline of performance, what your baseline of performance, and I don't mean just when in one area when it comes to security, I mean in every single area of your life. What is your baseline of performance? And how do you achieve a higher baseline? You gotta get higher quality uh, habits. How do you get higher quality habits? How do you live a higher quality life? I say it on here almost every single day. If you want a higher quality life, you gotta make higher quality decisions. How do you make higher quality decisions? You get higher quality information. It's the information age. You got no excuse, dude. You got no excuse. Oh, I can't afford school. Let me tell you something about that curriculum. You're gonna pay all that money and go into debt for in school. I got a master's degree. That's like the slowest, the velocity of that information. It's so crystallized, it's canonized. Dead guys, you never freaking, that, do you understand? If you were to Google like the way that technology is evolving, it's got a compounding nature to it. It'll blow your freaking mind. The way that information is evolving right now, the speed and the velocity that information is evolving at right now. The average American, I think it's like 6% of Americans actually read one book after high school. We can't call high school an education. If you wanna actually do something meaningful and be powerful, you have got to evolve with the times you have to evolve. Like I'm talking about individual capital. I'm talking about you. You don't start out, you're, yeah, you're, you're freaking special because you hit like 1,800 lotteries to be here, right? Like your sperm, your one in however many million, each man has enough sperm to fertilize every female on the planet twice in their ball sack right now. Maybe not because they've been poisoning us for years. It's a whole other health centric conversation, but it's too late. I'm cooking with tartar sauce, but you know, that was one lottery you hit second lottery you hit you know how many things can go wrong there's something like a million there's over a million different variables like things that can go wrong in the womb right so you hit another lottery just for being here if you're in america you're in like the 80th uh percentile of the richest people in the world you're like dang near a one percenter okay just for being here wearing these clothes that you take for granted driving around these cars that you take for granted complaining about gas and you know freaking they didn't get your freaking fat pacino right this morning well quality problems right so you hit like 18 freaking lotteries and if you have you're in a house with both parents you're winning you're in a house with one parent you're winning you know what percentage of kids around the world right now are starving oh, everyone's all up in arms about afghanistan how bad those people are being treated you want to know the truth that stuff's been happening in so many nations in africa and in the india and dude i've been to over 70 countries around this world not i'm serious man to Mexico, you know, it's like 10% of Americans have passports, homie, like, if you don't have a passport, you can't complain about our country and, and the freaking, the police, you are the corrupt police, everything outside of America is for sale, homie, like, I don't know, <laughs> my friend, beloved, you know, him who has ears, let him hear, man, uh, all I'm trying to say to you this morning is that this life is fleeting, 
Your number one mission is to invest in yourself so that you can become the highest quality version of yourself. So you can serve the world and your family and your tribe and people that don't even know the value you can bring to their life. They don't even know that they need you. Like people's lives can be uh, impacted positively based on your words, your influence, your hard work, your perspective, um, and your contributions. So you can live a life of contribution, which is the most fulfilling life that we can live during our time of dying together. Don't let this day slip by. I don't care what day of the week it is. Hit it hard. Live like you're going to die tomorrow because you're actually dying today. We're spending God's currency. You'll never get this time back. Make it count. Understand that you don't start off good enough. Bump your feelings, okay? You want to be good enough? You got to work at it. And that's so righteous and that's so just and that's so beautiful and that's so fair. Otherwise, everyone would be so amazing and amazing would be nothing because what is the sun without the moon? You know, what is a beautiful day without the rain? What is light without dark? You know, I don't know these answers. What's one without zero, you know? What's happiness without sadness and without the polarity of life, right? So not everyone can just be awesome all the time. There's no participation trophies in that. In this life, it's simple. It's either victory or capture. You're either operating from a place of faith or you're operating from a place of fear. And I hear what you say, but your actions tell me what you're really about, okay? You're either... Faith without works is dead. It's impossible to please a father without faith. If you're not making moves that show and demonstrate your faith, then you're doing mental gymnastics to logic your way into staying in your comfort zone. You're actually operating by fear. That's the game. That's the aim. Understand. Don't deceive yourself any longer. Do what is necessary. And guess what? Every great step in your personal evolution and self-transcendence requires a death. This is why I talk about the alchemy of the mind, you know, the death of a weaker version of yourself on the altar of progress in order to fulfill your God-given destiny, purpose, and greater future. Anyways, that's just what's on my mind this morning. Um, I make these videos because I love you guys. Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by train. Let's make the world a better place by first improving on ourselves. Boom, what's up you guys? Byron Rogers here. And um, if that video meant anything to you, if it inspired you, if you appreciated it, um, I just want to ask you to possibly support us on Patreon. Um, I generate hundreds of videos per year and spend thousands on free content for you guys per month because it simply is a passion of mine. It's the way that I wanna contribute to the world, you know, to the best of my ability. So obviously I'm gonna to continue to do it, but I wouldn't be able to make it sustainable without my partners who support me on Patreon. So thank you so much if you already do. And um, if you haven't done that, it's, you know, you know, for what you pay to McDonald's per month, you could help push the mission and this, this work forward. So anyways, either way, thank you so much. Like, subscribe. Check the link below to support me on Patreon if you're interested in that. God bless, Semper Fi, and I'll see you on the next piece of content, y'all.